Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to declutter and organize your laundry supplies, your laundry center, whatever you want to call it. If you can tell, I'm with I'm behind the camera today. I'm um, by my washer and dryer. They're kind of old, so if you can tell. Um, but if you look here, we have open. Here's one tip. Keep all of your open stuff or you, the stuff you're currently using in one spot. We have it kind of here on the dryer since it, you can open it not from the top. Um, this one's almost empty. This is the one I've been using. It's from um, an online bulk center. It's their brand. Um, and then we have our pods, open pods, stuff like this. Now, also you want to keep everything together. Keep where, keep things where it makes sense to keep it. Like, this is, if you can read it, washing machine cleaner. I had this upstairs by the dishwasher. You want to keep laundry stuff where it makes sense, maybe near your washer and dryer, something like that. Um, but yeah, we have two open things of um, laundry detergent, or not laundry, um, fabric softener, which drives me absolutely insane. And then we have one, two, three open things. One, one, two, three things of detergent open. Drives me absolutely bonkers because Here's tip number two. Use one thing at a time. One laundry detergent at a time. So you don't have a multiple open things. Now I do have this little container here. It's not really being used for what I meant to be used as. But here's another tip. It doesn't have to be anything fancy like as you can tell. But I was trying to put this here to put loose change or keys or buttons something that might be in the dryer or washer once you're done to kind of make sure it doesn't get lost or something like that i just keep it back here behind everything now we do have one thing of laundry or dryer sheets here we have some oxyclean which is a giant thing. I don't think next time I'd buy such a big thing because I rarely use it. It's okay to keep bleach somewhere close by. Um, but yeah, so you want to keep open things together where you would use it to stuff like that. But if you follow me over here, um, it's kind of dark. Let me turn on a light. Ooh, it's really dark. But yeah, let me turn on a light here. Um, this shelf, I feel like I've talked about this shelf before. It has the bottom one there, which is kind of cluttered everything. This next one, this one, has paper products, napkin, paper napkins, toilet paper, paper towels all together one place and this is what I kind of really wanted to show you this next uh, this next shelf has unopened bottles and pods and dryer sheets unopened on or back there there's more um, um what, oh, what is it the fabric softener keep it all together now, if you see how I kind of have it organized here, I have dryer sheets, something that doesn't need to go on this shelf, dryer sheets all together so I know what I have when, when I need to buy more. And you, this is back when I used to extreme cope on too. You can tell that I have a ton of this stuff. But dryer sheets so I know when I need more. La or fabric softener so I know when to get more and how many we have then the pods you know you know keep it organized so you know what you have and you know when you need more things and then my liquid so 
But then this next shelf, let me get back over here. This next shelf is kind of a hodgepodge. It has tissues, some, oh, wait, there we go. This is um, more food storage. I don't know if that's the word I want to use. They're like to put leftovers in. Then we have more, then I have my disinfecting wipes. Oh, and then I wasn't sure what to do with these. But these are those oil plug-in things, all different brands that I got for free. Um, these are like gallon size storage bags, sandwich size storage bags. And this is something... Oh, this is a thing for the grill. Um, let me see if I can kind of put that back. Okay. And then this is some dusters since it gets kind of dusty down here. I like to, I bought those at Sam's Club. Now I'm just messing things up. And this top shelf kind of a hodgepodge as well but more outdoor stuff seasonal stuff there's some this thing here is a wreath for the door um, Halloween wreath there's some Christmas decorations my bag of winter gear scarves hats gloves stuff like that but yeah, so you want to keep everything organized, keep things together. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Um, this is just one way you can kind of do it. I mean, the shelf was left by the previous owner, and it's giant. It's probably six feet across, and I, I don't know. It's at least probably six feet tall. I don't know how they would have got it upstairs, but yeah. And then in here, I don't know what I want to call this little room, but I'll kind of back up. I think it might be a root cellar or something. There's another shelving unit they left here. There's kind of a bunch of stuff they left here. But there's another shelf, if you can tell. At least six feet tall, maybe four feet across. But you can tell I have some cleaning supplies on that shelf, some sponges. Yeah, this one's not really that great, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so you want to just kind of have some sort of organization for everything. Um, some of you may not have a basement, so I don't know if you have like a utility room with maybe a sh you could put a shelf in or something like that for some overstock of paper stuff, laundry stuff, tissues whatever but yeah um this is all i have for you today but just remember guys the less stuff you own the easier your house is to clean have a great day